chairman of this gathering, all our former heads of states, permit me to say, as we say in Nigeria, all protocols observed. You will notice on your program that there is no mention of Cardinal Lonayeko. I am not in the program. I have just been asked to say a few words. Uh, but like a preacher that I am, we are always ready at every moment to give, uh, uh, to speak, and to say something positive. First, to thank the organizers of this forum for bringing this meeting to our country, Nigeria. This has been done already. Moral and innovative leadership to build sustainable peace for a prosperous future. Almost every word of that formulation is a subject of a discussion. Our world is riddled with problems, especially as far as uh, challenges to peace is concerned. Open your television every day. There is, there is war, conflicts all over the world. And that is a pity. The poor bear the brunt of most of these conflicts. Women, children, elderly, the sick, and neglected as a result. And the whole of many communities are stagnating. The country you are in, Nigeria, is almost facing such a problem, but we keep praying that God will protect and uh, save us from the worst. The, but the good news, my brothers, my sisters, is that there are so many wonderful initiatives. A whole lot of people who are not satisfied with just sitting down and watching the world destroy itself. We have seen it in Nigeria. So many initiatives from NGOs, from private individuals, from religious groups, even government too. And I think this is the spirit of God moving the whole community to rise up and do something. Not only on the nat our own national level, we are seeing it also on the world level. There are many organizations and associations, not only the Global uh, Peace Foundation, but other organizations that are interested in what we are saying now, interested in building peace with re in a renovative way with new ideas, different from all we have been trying so far that has been going, getting us nowhere. And uh, we really do hope that these various positive movements which will succeed and especially find a way to link hands so that together we can come out with some new ways of approaching the problems of our world because we are in a new world, this new world of ours where we are all so linked together, the so-called globalization, uh, where techn technologically we are already one family, we are already one, who we, they speak of the global village. Unfortunately, politics is way behind schedule. They have to catch up so that we can really live as one family under one God. So these various initiatives, we need to link hands. And uh, global, in my own understanding, means not that we, are, we shouldn't be interested only in the peace of our nation. We should be interested in the peace of the entire human family. Someone says that uh, there is no security for any nation until all the world is secure. So no matter how much you do about your own national security, if there is insecurity elsewhere, we are still not secure. So that's global. But I would rather want to stress the global dimension in the sense that the, uh, the representative of the Sultan has just mentioned, that there are, there are actions to be taken by different people with different competencies, and all these must link hands together, namely politics, the public sector, the, the, the economic powers, the, the industrial powers, banking and finance, uh, politicians, and so on. And we must not forget the religious. Not only because religious people have special message to give, but because, by and large, almost everybody somehow is religious. Never mind what some people are saying. It is said now that more than 80% of people in this world say that they believe in a religion. 
So we cannot ignore that. Uh, as religious leaders, we do our best. But this kind of meeting is a great encouragement for us because it gives us opportunity to meet great politicians, to meet big business people, to meet great thinkers, even including the media. By the time we join hands together globally, then we will be able to make a global impact. We thank you for inviting me and giving me time to talk out of schedule. And we pray that God will give success to the work of our hands. Thank you once again.